walk faster. She's still recording. So, so you know me, just, she'll, she'll be like, happy for the July, and then go to me and I'll be like, okay. Happy 4th of July, Independence Day, Freedom Day. America? 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 I hope all this is in focus. <laughs> We've had a couple of people DM us um, wanting to do a Q&A. Um, so we got, let's see, seven questions here that we're gonna go through and answer for you. All right, the first one is from Saro. Uh, these are Instagram names, by the way. Saro, how did y'all meet? Well, we met at a house party. Uh, <laughs> it was after the Marine Corps ball, and I was taking care of one of my drunk Marines. By taking care of him, I mean I was letting him sleep on the bathroom floor while he threw up. If she came in and tried to give him a blanket and take care of him in like a mommy way, a mommy fashion, but in my eyes he did it to himself, so that was his punishment. So, so I told her not to. He's my marine and flicked her in the forehead as I left the bathroom. Yeah, so he flicked me on the forehead and I was like, who the heck is this guy? But not like in a good way, like, oh, who's he? It was like a, what the heck? And then fast forward, I saw his picture on Facebook and so I requested him because I couldn't see any of his pictures because they were private and I wanted to know who he was. She was creeping. No. And then like a second later after I requested him, he DM'd me. He was like, trying to creep or what? And then, you know, got it from there and now we're married and have a baby. <laughs> I forget. Hey, chill, mama. <laughs> I didn't water on the legs. Okay, uh, the second one is from Janice and it says, what do you do for work? Well, we know that you're a teacher. If you watched our last video, two videos ago, actually. She's working on her associates right now so she can um, teach. Well, so I can I can teach preschool and pre-K at the moment, but uh, eventually once to transfer, go to, ah, sorry, go to get my bachelor's and then teach, go to elementary and follow this one around. Yeah. Uh, okay, so she's a teacher, and I was in the Marines for six years, um, and I'm currently uh, out. I'm transitioning to the Coast Guard, uh, and the reason for that is because I was gonna re-enlist the Marines, but the only thing I was able to do was Intel or um, Counter Intel, but I didn't want to do Intel. I didn't want to be stuck behind a computer, and Counter Intel, no way. If you know what that is, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, look it up. It's crazy. It's like espionage, all that type of crazy stuff. I don't know. But the Coast Guard lets you uh, choose your job and everything like that after boot camp, so which is great. You get to shadow and intern and actually pick what you want instead of signing a contract and you're stuck with what you get. And I leave for boot camp in three weeks, so bringing in the money again. That'll be great. Rachel asks, 
How did you find out you were pregnant with Michaela? He had a, the feeling first because I think it was like someone ordered Pizza Hut and I thought it was like the worst smell in the world and he was like, <laughs> mm. but he didn't say anything. And then I was starting to feel a little like sick and I was like, hmm. So then one day I left class early and I went to where he was staying at and I was like, oh, I have a test and maybe you should take it. We took it in a really, 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 really faint line. Super faint. Like, I was like, that, that's, no, I was like, that's not right. And then I was like, eh, well, maybe. And I was like, oh, no. So we went out and we bought another test. And again, it was the exact same thing. It was like two other tests. And it was the exact same thing. So I called my doctor the next morning. And I went in and took a blood test. And sure enough, Preggers. And I actually had a dream the night prior. It was like, oh, it was my dad who had passed away, and he was like, oh, there's gonna be a new baby, and that's when the next day I woke up and I was like, oh, okay. And that, yeah, now we have this little munchkin. <laughs> Sean asks, do you want more kids, and if so, how many? Yes and no. Yes and no. Right now we're good with it. <laughs> he says, he says no, but then sometimes he says yes. Um, so we're fine with Michaela. Yep. She's great, and we'd love to give her everything she needs. So, you know, being the only one, she I'm, gets everything she needs. I want her so that I can continue to spoil her. If I have more, then I feel like I won't be able to afford the, op the same opportunities for her um, or for them. Yeah. Her. But I would like to have a son. I would. Yeah, that would be. That would be. And, nice. and oh, I think that goes with the next question. Which was uh, Ace asks Austin, "What's it like having a daughter, and do you, do you want, want a son? son?" It's it's awesome. She's 100% a daddy's girl, and she's, she looks just like daddy. Yeah, she's so crazy and energetic and fun. Keeps me on my toes. I love her to death, and I wouldn't wouldn't trade her for anything. <laughs> um, and do I want a son? Yes, I I do. But we're okay with my daughter. Yeah, I'm. We are not trying for another one. Two more questions. Uh, Turpin asked, what is the logo on all of your hats? Uh, it's the Bayrots logo. Bayrots is my Twitch streaming persona, I guess. And if you do the, the letters backwards, it comes out as story AB, which is just my last name and my first and middle initial. It's a little clever play on words, but yeah, monetized. What's up? And Allison asks, do you have any pets? Um, we personally don't have any pets. Uh, we would like to get Michaela a dog, um, either like a corgi or uh, ah, no. what was it? I want to get I want to get a bully, which is a pit bull mixed with a bulldog, and I also want a uh, uh, Tibetan mastiff. Yeah, but we did see this cute little corgi, and we named him, and we wanted to bring him home, but we couldn't right now because we're in the middle of transitioning. But um, my mom has two cats, which we are currently staying with, so she gets to play with those. Yeah. More like beat them up. But Corgis are them. cool. They're like little subway dogs. He doesn't like cats as you can see. They changed me. the topic. <laughs> Corgis remind me of like, if a subway train were to be a dog, it'd be a Corgi. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Merry America. Um, let us know in the comments down below what you guys did for your 4th of July. Please leave out the political BS that I've been seeing on Facebook where people are saying it's corrupt, blah, blah, blah. Stop it. Just stop it. Okay? Have fun. Quit being a, quit being a terrorist. All right. Peace.